everybody. What's up? We about to get lit. And turn up. Yeah, lit. And turn up. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Abby Nicole, and today I'm here with the Sun video. Yes, as you can see, I'm in my closet and I'm standing next to my suit. <laughs> Listen, y'all know how I feel about my suits, okay? So, y'all know I'm finna, it's gonna try to, it's gonna have to, it's gonna try to be a sneakerhead. And I'm trying to get into the sneaker world, the shoe world, and up my sneaker shoe game, my suit game, period. So, these are the um, sneakers that I've collected and kind of bought within the past couple of months. I took a little break because I was, I was spending a lot of money on shoes. I was spending a lot of money on shoes, and I needed to take a break. So, if you guys want to see my little mini shoe collection... I'm trying to debate if I should put my heels. No, my heels are going to be a different video because I have a lot of heels in the other room as well. So we're going to just get into the sneakers and stuff like that or the soles or the um, trainers, whatever you call them. Let's get into it. Okay? Okay. Hey, when I walk through, walk through, cashed out, everything brand new. Every single day, brand new. Yeah. Shitting on you. On you. And I ain't never had to do it for the views. Never had to do it for the yeah. It's every Nicole. Yeah. Stop playing, bitch. I ain't the one. Bitch, I ain't the one. All right, so I don't know if I want to start. What I want to start off with? Hmm. 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 Okay. I guess let's just start from the top. I guess, and then we'll just make our way down and go. Okay. So these shoes that I have here, and I really like these. All right, you guys. So I'm new to the names and stuff, and the Air Max is all of that. But these are my Air Max Plus, you guys. I love this shoe because just the way it fits, and I have big feet, you guys, so, and I'm 5'9", and I wear it between a 9 to a 10 and a half, depending on the shoe. So, this is a woman's shoe, and I got this one in a woman's 9 and a half, which is like a men's 8 and a half. So, um, these are just like a bumblebee yellow, like that perfect yellow, and I like the ombre that it has on the bottom. But you guys, these shoes are definitely so bomb. They fit comfortable to wear all day. I like them. They're just like a, I like this style of shoe. This, um, this is very refreshing to have and like pop a color. Love this shoe. I only wore these shoes once. I can't remember how much I spent on them, but if you look them up, I'm sure you'll see them. I got those from Foot Locker. Now I have another pair of Air Max Plus, you guys, that I'm going to be showing you guys. And these were my first pair of like shoes. When I first started the whole suit thing. If y'all don't get the insider, follow me on Instagram so you can know what I mean when I be saying suits. So the next suit that I have here is another pair of Air Max Pluses. The colorway is definitely dope. This is, um, these are the Blue Glaze Hyper Crimson um, colorway. It's definitely like an ombre situation. But these are a kid's shoe. This is in a size 7 youth. Sometimes I could fit in a kid's shoe, you guys. So this... I loved the colorway. I want to make a wig inspired by these colors. It's just so pretty lava-like. I just love the colorway. Definitely dope. I love the orange bottom. The TN thing, I'm still trying to learn what this means. Can you guys tell me what this means, the TN on these Air Max Pluses? I want to know. But these obviously fit a little bit tighter, but they fit enough, okay? Since we're doing Nike, I figured I would just move on to my next shoe. <laughs> Which shoe is it? Which shoe is it? Okay, so since we're doing Air Maxes, let me get into my next pair of Air Maxes, and I have these right here, you guys. These are my Air Max 97s. These are the Air Max 97s, you guys. I got these in red because um, I, I just like the shoe. I got a lot of hair in here. The shoe looks so dope on, and they reflect with flash. They look so dope. Um... There's not much for me to say. It's just a red shoe. I definitely wanted this shoe in like a custom color, maybe like a purple. I'm going to be working in the future with Kane Customs. Definitely check them out, you guys. We're going to be working together on some stool stuff. I'm just going to wait till I'm ready. But yes, definitely love this shoe. It's a different type of vibe. I know they have a shoe that has this body and the Vapor Max bottom, you guys. That shoe is pretty dope. I want to get that shoe. I forgot what it's called, but this is straight to it, like a red Air Max. These are in the size nine and a half women. Fit perfect, fit snug. Okay. All right, you guys. So the next shoe that I have here is my Nike React Prestos, you guys. I like this shoe mainly because of the like the squigglies. It's like a honestly a cute detailed shoe. Um, I really got this colorway because the royal blue, you, you guys know that's my favorite color. Definitely like this. I could wear this with like some sweatpants. 
uh, some joggers, a, a, a black all black, pop out the blue and the white. Definitely sleek or all white with the blue. These are definitely more, I definitely want to get more into the Air Jordan 1 type of shoes, Jordans and stuff. But I want to start off with these just because some trainers are, are decent too. Like I could work out in these as well and I really like these. These are a men's shoe in a size 8. Like I said, they range and they're comfortable. Depending on the color though, you could see like your toes um, and depending on what colorway or what color store you decide to go to. But I like these. But the only thing I don't like about these is when I put my feet in it, they look really wide, like in pictures and stuff. And you could like see the knuckle of my toe. It's, it's weird. But it's, it's a dope shoe. And it's funny because one of my supporters suggested that I get that shoe. So shout out to them. So the next shoe that I have that I actually really, really like, you guys. These shoes are different. Shout out to uh, my dude in Orlando that like convinced me to get them because he had them on. I can't think of his Instagram name. These are the Nike React Element 55 SESU19. I know it's a very complicated ass shoe name, but I like these because these are very sleek, lightweight. Like, these are very lightweight. They reflect in the dark as well, or with flash, and they have a black shoe as well, and other colors, but. I saw just a black and white when I went to get these and I saw the other colorway. I didn't really like them. They have the same type of bottom as the Presto, the React Presto that I just showed you. But the shoe is so freaking light. And then when you loose them up really loose and just let them do what they want, they look so good. Sleek and white. I really like these shoes a lot. Okay, so come on now. You know you have to have a pair of all white G-Fazos. Come on. Like, all white G-Fazos, these shoes are like a... OG original you must have a pair of these and I got the force fields in them so they wouldn't um, crease on me too quick but I'm gonna need a new pair soon because these are a little bit dirty I got these in a size 9 women they are a little bit tight my pair before was a size 7 or 7.5 and in kids and then those were a little bit tight so I went with the women so when I get a new pair I'm probably gonna go 9.5 but these shoes are definitely an OG they go with anything almost put some little white socks on put your g fazos on and you good to go i low-key want a black pair <laughs> but you know what you, they say about the black pair if you know you know if you don't you don't these are also a cheap shoe not too expensive get you a pair of all white g fazos and then these is what created kind of my love for air jordan ones i'm not gonna lie air jordan ones are hard to find and they're really expensive so i'm like trying to get my mini collection and then listen the ones the off-white joints all those are gonna start coming really soon so Stay tuned for that. Hey guys, side note, literally fell asleep. Both my camera batteries were dead and I was like, okay, well, let me take a nap and I'll come back and film this video. You guys, I turned on the heat. I was like, let me just, yeah, I woke up almost suffocating and it ended up being a two hour nap and a 15 minute nap. But anyway, we back. So, we were on the feed lots and I'm gonna show you the two pairs that I have here. So, I have these right here. And these are the distributive stretch. So these have the iconic Fila bottom with the ridges right here. Some people don't like Fila's, but I honestly don't mind them. These are kind of a replica, or like, not a replica, let me not say that. These are kind of inspired by the Balenciaga Speed Trainers. And I like these because they're red as well. This was my first red shoe that I got before the Air Max 97s. Um, I have a love and hate relationship with these shoes because I just don't be knowing what to wear with them. But they're definitely a look when I do wear them. I kind of wish they were all red. They have a black color and a different colorway. I can't remember, but these were like 90 or 80 bucks. I like them because it gave me the sock shoe look, but not for the sock shoe price. Okay. Also, these are a little bit higher than the Balenciagas. Actually, a lot of bit. The Balenciagas come down to like the ankle. This is like um, a little bit more in the mid area. Yeah. So these are definitely a bulkier shoe. These kind of look like big old nerd shoes, to be honest. So these are the Fila Distributor 2s. I got these in pretty much the all white um, John. They have like different designs or versions of the all white Johns. But I like these because like if you do like cargos or like windbreaker pants or jeans even but like it just these shoes can kind of really make a statement like these shoes can really make a statement i don't wear them all the time they are a little bit heavy they are a little bit heavy but they definitely make a statement they're a nice bulky white crisp shoe that i like and um i need to wear these more honestly it's kind of hard to remember exactly which shoe i have when they're in the boxes but now I just remembered I had this in a Nike box because I got these actually over a year ago when I was living in Orlando and I left the box in Orlando so I put these in a Nike box 
that Scott um, left here. So that's them. So next we're going to move on to Champion. And I have one Champion shoe right now. And these are the Rally Pros in the color Granite Heather. These are men's shoe. These run really, really small, you guys. So when getting these, make sure you go size up. I got these in a nine men. I told you usually I'm an eight and men, not even really an eight and a half. So I had to go up a whole size. I like these because again, they kind of give me the slip on sock shoe Balenciaga vibe. The thing I like about it too is the colorway. It's like different shades of gray, like 50 shades of gray with the navy blue and the logo, of course. And then I like how it has these because it's a little bit harder to get on, so you just slip it on like this. It had a really nice selection of colorways. It had a black, a blush pink, the neon yellow, but I feel like these shoes, I don't know, I didn't have a gray shoe, so I feel like this would look really cute, and it did, <laughs> in this picture. So yeah, I like these, they're past. I, you know what's funny, I took out the sole. I even took out the sole. That's how much smaller they run, you guys, so. All right, you guys, so I actually forgot I have another pair of Nikes right here. These are my Beatrues in the Air Max 720s. I honestly have a love and hate relationship with the Air Max 720s because the bottom. The bottom makes the shoe look so bulky to me, and like, I just don't really like the bottom, but I had to get these because the rainbow colorway, like, look at this colorway. It's like a perfect red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, um, rainbow colorway for the pride. I got these mainly because I have a wig that can match with this and I feel like it's going to be a look when I do decide to wear them, but I don't know if I'm going to like keep these, I don't know about all that, but I definitely got these in a bigger size and the inside has like the same thing inside. The thing is, I got these in Orlando at the Nike outlet and I got these in a size 9. These were 190 but I definitely feel like the size eight and a half would have been bigger. They do run a little bit small, but the nine is just way too big. Like I have to stuff the shoe. If I wear these, I'm probably gonna have to Photoshop the out of them. But um, yeah, they're, they're dope. Probably gonna sell them or give them away. I don't know. But like if I ever do like a room closet, like a closet with a, just a room, I feel like those shoes would look so good like in on display. So it's like I'm trying to like debate if I should give them up. Okay, let's move on to these. Those are the Balenciaga Speed Trainer. These were my first expensive shoes. These, um, I have another shoe in the box because I left this box back at the crib. Um, but yes, these are the Balenciaga Speed Trainers. These cost $7.50 after California tax and everything, you guys. It was like $8.50, you guys. It was ridiculous. So I got these in the size 39, but here's the problem. The, the the shoe is starting to get a hole in it. It's really bad. So Balenciaga allegedly has warranty on it. These shoes are dirty though. They need to be cleaned and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take these back. I got these at Rodeo Drive two years ago. Yeah, it's been two years now when I came to VidCon and I was like, okay, you know what? I can afford these now. Let me get these shoes have a story behind them. These shoes made me realize that I'm really doing this YouTube shit or this social media shit and I could afford a designer now. So this is really dope, love these shoes. All right, so now we're really getting into the big boy trainers, the big boy stuff. These are the Off-White Balenciaga's um, tracker shoe, I think. I like this shoe because it's really, it, it's off-white, the color off-white, and the colorway is pretty dope. I like the pop of orange. Orange always looks nice on a shoe, you guys. These shoes kind of remind me of the Fila's, very bulky. Have to wear these with like, or I feel like I have to wear these with like something baggy. For it to look good it got a really nice feel to it these are in a size 41 though these fit perfectly my speed trainers are 39 these are 41 so definitely have to go up a size with these but then i have these right here i feel like i might as well just get out the way i got my um hurachis right here I, I don't know why but i really wanted these shoes when they first came out you guys they had the gold all of that so i got the black and the white i don't really wear these as much but i like to wear these when going to the gym these are like comfortable gym shoes Hibachi's, a nice little crisp. These are in a kid size and I got these in a women's size. These are size 10 in women because these run small as well. But I got the kid size because I didn't want to pay that much. Or, no, not even a kid size. These are eight and a half in men. I don't even know, but as you can see, there's a difference in size, but yeah. 
Alright y'all, so I picked these shoes up the same time I got the champion shoe out of town. Um, these were a cool pickup. These are the Adidas Oz We Go. Kylie Jenner has like a collaboration going on with them, so she definitely was wearing these. I got these in the kids size 7, Oz We Go J. They have different colorways that I definitely want to get into, but I like the orange one the most. It reminds me, it gives me Yeezy vibes, you guys. That's another reason why I like this shoe. It really gives me that, I forgot the name of those shoes, but the, the, they're kind of bulky as well. But these are more of a, like, a slat, like, you know, a flatter shoe. They're not as bulky. But these reflect, too. The gray parts reflect when the flash is on them. Definitely like this little addition right here. It just looks like an expensive shoe for not an expensive price. Definitely love that. I have um, two more pair of Adidas. I also have the Superstars. Those are in the room, they're, the other room. They're probably crushed, not even in their box anymore. But definitely love to have an original pair of Adidas, the Superstar. The Superstar, definitely an OG pair. Love those. Yeah. Then I got these in um, on Melrose at Cool Kicks right here. Yeah, I got these at Cool Kicks at Melrose, but they didn't have the box for the shoe. But these are the Zebras. I was really... Wanting these, you guys, and I'm so happy I got them. I love this shoe. I love this shoe. Like, there's not much for me to say about it. Like, I love this shoe. I'm trying to get into the more Yeezys as well, but some of them I just don't like. But I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna fall in love with some of the other ones that I don't really like. But shout out to Sean for lacing these for me because I do not get the whole lacing thing, you guys. I'm not hip to that whole spiel. But yes, definitely love these. I got these for a cheap price, actually. This because there was no box, so. I don't mind. Shoot. Soon I'm gonna have all clear containers anyway. I have these boxes and storage and stuff. So this I love my zebras. I really love my zebras. Period. Okay, you guys. So the next shoes that I got here are my Yeezy Boost 700. I got these shoes with Ty. I literally was so inspired to get these shoes. I wanted these shoes so bad. I don't know what made me want these shoes, but these were my first pair of Yeezys. I wanted these so freaking bad. These are also a bulky type of shoe you guys I feel like these these are fire these are fire these are fire I just love the bulkiness about them I really like the bulkiness about them they're a little bit scuffed but the shoe is just like bomb Rel told me that if you throw these in the washer they'll look brand new I'm scared to do that so I haven't done that I've been using makeup wipes to clean them which they were definitely a a nice shoe to wear because you could wear so many different colors with it you could wear them you know in so many different ways Love this, but Yeezy just gives me a chill vibe. Like, I just want to wear sweats with Yeezys all the time. And I love that vibe, you know what I'm saying? I love that vibe. Any shoes you think you guys, any shoes you guys think that I would like, definitely send them to me, you guys. I'm so down to, like, look at. So, the next shoe that we are going to get into are in the last shoe. These are my Louis Vuitton Desert Boots. These are just, like, an iconic pair of boots. Like... They make a statement, but they're so uncomfortable because they're so narrow. I think these are in the size 41 or 42, I can't remember, but these, they're looking a little sad right now because, chill, you gotta break into these boots, but even when I think I break in, I'm not even broken in, but these boots are so cute. They look good with all my purses that I have, my belt. It's just a whole look, like you just can't go wrong with this. They have other ones with patches on them, the light color ones, but I just like the black one for sure because it's like it's a heel, but it's not really a heel. You know what I'm saying? I also like the other ones that are actually like boot heels, but they're like short. But I want to get those too, but I'm like chilling on the designer stuff. Yeah, I'm really trying to chill and budget and be smart. That's pretty much it, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed my song video. I was really excited to bring this to you guys. I feel like I didn't want to because I feel like my collection wasn't that great yet, but we're moving. We're moving up, we're gonna get there. It's gonna be a work in progress. Like a year from now, we're gonna be looking and like all this wall is gonna be filled and probably underneath it. So thank you guys for you know watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss no uploads from me. Period. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all so much. And we out. Get out of my closet. You've been here enough. Bye. Just gon' take your time I know you tryna slide Just hop in my ride Anything you gon' do it You follow me in my movement Say the words and let's do it, babe I know you just wanna ride Just gon' take your time I know you tryna slide Just hop